A recent viral video of some youths of northern origin said to have been arrested for alleged impersonation of a particular ethnic group during the Nigeria Army recruitment exercise in Lagos has again raised the issue of indigenous settler dichotomy in Nigeria's polity, which is grappling with negative ethnic profiling. Some online and mainstream media platforms have reported that the Lagos state government has even called for the arrest and trial of six northern candidates participating in the Nigerian army recruitment process who were allegedly claiming to be indigenous of the state. In the viral video, which surfaced earlier on Wednesday, six candidates were shown in the recruitment process who hailed from Kaduna State, claiming Kosofe local government area, Lagos Island local government area, and Oshodi Isolo local government area, respectively, as their local government of origin. Though this same scenario is commonplace in most parts of the north, specifically the educationally disadvantaged states such as Zamfara, Jigawa, Yobe, and several others, where you find other ethnic nationalities taking slots and filling vacancies meant for indigenous people without any resistance, the recent event in Lagos has generated outrage and reservations over the rights of Nigerians residing outside their ancestral homes. It is against this backdrop we engage the president of the Southern Kaduna People's Union, Sokapu, engineer Tabara Samuel Kato, a group which recently issued a press statement condemning what they attempt to portray the applicants in bad light as bona fide Nigerians who should enjoy unlimited rights and privileges encapsulated in the Constitution. Yes, engineer, you are welcome to the program. Thank you very much. And we're happy to have you in our studio for the first time. I'm happy to. Thank you. And uh, viewers, let's ha have a look at this video clip. What's your name? I'm a Biro Mr. Papa. Huh? A Biro Mr. Papa. What local government? A local government. Where are you, where are you from? I'm from my town. Where am I? Where are you from originally? From the Kaduna State. From where? Kaduna State. Kaduna, Kaduna State. I'm Al Kali Monde by name. Okay. Yes, I'm from Kaduna State. Okay. I'm living in the Tampara. To your brother? Yes. And you are coming out under what local government? Lagos Island. Local government? Yes. Do you have a family house in Lagos Island? No. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? Luca David. What? Luca David. Luca? David. Where are you from? From Cardinal State. Cardinal State. What local government are you coming out from? Osho. Who gave you the indigenship certificate? National. What's your name? Zakaria Arab. Where are you from? Cardinal State. 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 Lagos. Lagos, Lagos. Where did you get the indigenous ship certificate from? I'm staying with my uncle, so I Your uncle, speak up, please. Yeah, I, I'm staying with my uncle, Nathan Aponel Gawo. Shogba Yoruba? Shogba Yoruba? I can hear you, I can hear Shogba Yoruba? Hello. Shogba Yoruba? No, ma. Shogba Yoruba? Yes, I can hear you. I'm a man, I'm a Yoruba. Mbolo, Mbe. I can't speak. Shogbayoba. Mbolongbe. Mbolongbe. No matter. Hello, Fuani. Certificate. Hello, Fuani. Hello, Fuani. Hello, Fuani. Local government. Hello, Tiwa. Koshofe. Hey, stop it. Kilo Rukoye. Kilo Rukoye. What's your name? What? Speak up, please. Where are you from? Where are you from? What? Kaduna. Kaduna. But you are coming out from what local government? Oh? Talo for any certificates? Kilo Rukwe? Mbolungbe? You don't hear Yoruba? Yes, ma'am. What are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. Kaduna State. Talo for any certificate of indigenship, Lagos State. Bring it and let me see your indigenship certificate. That paper that they gave you from the local no, government. Huh? Where is your... Let me see. Yes. Show me this. Which is Show the local government. One by one. Who show the local government. Yes. Engineer, you saw the video. How did you felt? Um, quite disheartening. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. And um, um, it's a pointer to the fact that 
we have a long way to go in terms of uh, nation building. And to think of it, that we have been in self-governance for over 60 years. And up to now, we are talking about primordial issues that have no bearing in terms of nation building. Now, this young man who ordinarily should think of themselves as Nigerians before any other consideration are being told that in fact they cannot even lay claim to their Nigerianness. It is horrible. It is shameful that in the world of 2024, that people in other countries are thinking of higher things because for long they have overcome their primordial sentiments of indigen settler indigen settlers dichotomy and here we are today now to even think of it this is about joining the military Nigeria. a service that is about giving up your life your comfort or whatever you value for yourself in the interest of defending your country your people the territorial integrity of your country and having willingly offered yourself for this service, you are being told you don't qualify. Now, okay, the uh, um, 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 the indigenous certificate that have been the basis of this discrimination. It would have made sense to me if they have come to say they forged it. They didn't make that claim. So it was not forged. So the certificate is authentic. So they just asked them your state of origin, they said Kaduna. They said Kaduna. State of residence, Lagos. So, and I mean, Lagos State Center of Excellence as it, it prides itself, and I give it to them, their center of excellence. I, for one, have been in Lagos since uh, 1998. To date, my family is still there. Almost 25 years now. Yes. Now, it, uh, you know, gladdens the heart of those of us who live there. Uh, you know, to... Uh, 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 you know, as we see the cosmopolitan nature of uh, Lagos and to a reasonable extent how uh, people can come from other states and be governors in Lagos. For example, Tinubu is from Oshun State and he has been governor of Lagos for uh, two yes. terms. Mm. Today he is the president. Claiming and, Lagos to become the president. And um, uh, uh, the daughter of Aolo, uh, Dr. Uh, Ade Tokumbo Dosumu, she was a hot contender for the uh, office of the governor of uh, Lagos at the time. She is from Ogun State. Aolo is from Ogun State. You, you know, and um, there are a lot of others like that. You then, know? then at what so, level, engineer, so, at what level did this comrade degenerated so i mean so this is where 
my heart is broken. Now, come to Kaduna State. We have demonstrated this brotherhood in the spirit of nationhood. Yoruba people, right from the days of Northern Region, up to when we have the present Kaduna State as it is, Yoruba people have been enjoying patronage, giving on limited, you know, uh, 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 privileges and uh, access to uh, 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 things that you know goes with citizenship, and we have a lot of uh, in part, particularly uh, uh, in, in, in uh, um, uh, Eurofice government, Europa people featured prominently in that government, and just to think of it, today, Northerners bulk of which are Kaduna State uh, 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 citizens by origin are being denied the opportunity of enrolling in the Nigerian army from Lagos State. So where, where, is, where is the problem? And I, as I read, you know, during the introductory mm. part, of mm. the, you, you addressed a press conference. Is it mm. a one of, based on the one of incidents? That happened yeah. in Kaduna, uh, or you, are, you try to address to, you know, a countrywide yeah. tendency. And you see, uh, at national perspective, I have taken time to look at our constitution with particular reference to nation building. And I found that in the constitution, there is no very clear, outright, and enforceable provisions that will bring about nation building. Nationhood is a thing where if any authority, organization, or individual violates it, it should come with heavy consequences on the violator. Nationhood is the life of the citizens of that country. Are you now faulting the constitution that it is not yeah. strong enough yes. to galvanize yes. the country? Yes. I fault the constitution. I fault the constitution outrightly because human beings don't uh, behave naturally in the sense where it involves accommodating the interest of others to a very reasonable extent human beings need to be compelled to do so. Okay, don't you think that um, some people watching us now mm. will say you are taking your expectation very far for thinking what happened in Lagos is a misnomer while you still have the same existential problem in the North. Take Kaduna for instance, mm. Southern Kaduna. Mm. You, you are the president of Sokapu. Mm. Are you comfortable with what is happening within Kaduna State? I mean, in terms of clear representation. And then you, within the Southern Kaduna, do you really also accommodate other people with open heart? We, in Southern Kaduna, we accommodate people with very, very open heart. Very, very open heart. And let's even take the issue of uh, my organization, so Kapu, the Southern Kaduna People's Union. When this union started, we started it with all manner of tribes and people of different religious belief. 
You mean with Jesus Kapo? Yes. You have Muslims, you have Christians, you have... That, I, what did I say? I say when we started it. So Kapu started in 1994. And I became an ex-co member in 1995. And ever since then, I have remained in the active participation now you are the president the union. today i'm the union i'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm i'm the president so from the beginning the constitution of our leadership have incorporated christians muslims and uh, various tribes, various, uh, is, it, tribes. Is, it, is it the same up till now so now there is what I consider a misnomer and aberration. What is it? Uh, our Hausa brothers, our Fulani brothers have distance themselves from the organization or you, or you force them no out. okay they are not forced out they distance themselves from the organization and i made this observation and i made a promise i said look this is not the couple we built along the line something went wrong at the time, we had a Fulani man, even though he was a Christian, but it's a Fulani man, Dr. Chris Abashia. He was president of Sokapu. Uh, there are other names, one Shetima, you know, whose origin is, I think, from Borno or so. Who, also, who, who was also on the board of trustees. So, so engineer, you can see it's, it's actually so, a countrywide problem. So, now, if you cross to so, Plato, so you are hold having on. the same problem. So, oh, oh, so hold on. Okay. So you see, uh, with me now, mm. I made a vow that all these brothers of ours, particularly the Hausa, the Fulani, that have distanced themselves, I will encourage them to come back. And I will tell you, <laughs> they have already come back. They have already come back. And if I ask you in, in two sentences mm. to summarize the, the mission of Sokabu, mm. what is it? Because from a distance, someone will say it's mm. just to foster the maybe biases and sentiments mm. of people of Southern mm. Kaduna without allowing any mm. outsider to have a say. Mm. No. Okay. So Kapu is an all-inclusive organization, non-discriminatory. We are conscious of the fact that this life as a principle is a survival of the fittest. And so we build unity in order to survive when it comes to benefiting from the national treasury we stand a chance for better bargaining power so that we would also get as much as you know fair we, share a fair share of you know of the goodies. Okay, no. I now I now understand. So what, what do you think mm. the National Assembly? Because in 2020, Senator Omoa Gege, then Deputy Senate President, mm. he, he led others in sponsoring a bill to actually address this issue of settler, you know, indigenous dichotomy. That mm. if, if you live in a place for 10 years, automatically you become an indigenous of that place with all the privileges, mm. you know, accompanying that. Um, mm. you know, position. Mm. So what do you think government, 
it because what you saw in Lagos, mm. honestly, if you go to many other states, you see things like that. Even though mm. in the north, the tendency or the propensity is less compared to other places. Mm. What should the National Assembly do to now address this problem? Well, you see, to assume that uh, a problem does not exist is at the same time to aggravate the problem. Mm. It is a fact that there are natives of a land. It is also a fact that there are immigrants to the land. Now, we need to recognize the, what constitutes the worries and fears of the natives. Vis-a-vis -vis the interest of immigrants that we will say settlers, it is said as a general principle, if you are in Rome, behave, like, behave like the Romans. But where the non-Romans would not want to behave like the Romans, then you see there's a problem there. So the National Assembly should take cognizance of the worries of the natives and the interest of the uh, 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 settlers. settlers and arrive at a just, fair, equitable terms of relationship. It's, it's a relationship. And it is a kind of relationship that with time, nobody even remembers where the order is coming from. What time he Even, is. exactly, exactly. All right, in but, one minute, to, to, to round up the mm, program now, because we have run out of time, mm, in one minute, mm, in specific terms, mm, what should the federal government, National Assembly, State Assembly do to solve this problem? This should be in less than one minute. Yeah. yeah. Um, this constitution, is very, very inadequate. Okay. There is need for fundamental changes that will bring about enforcement of nation building in Nigeria. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wish we have more time, but we'll bring yeah. you back. Thank you. Yes, um, mm. Engineer Tabara Samuel yeah. Gato, President Sokapo, Southern Kaduna. People's Union, right? Yes. For coming to the program, and we mm. hope to have you again. Thank you very much. Yes, and uh, viewers, we'll take a short break. When we return, another conversation commences. Stay with us. <laughs>